Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to determine the mean score. Now, what you need for this exercise are a pen, piece of paper, and a calculator. Now, if you've ever heard of the word average, as in the average of your test scores, that's actually what mean is, because the mean, by definition, is the average. So we're going to go over a couple of uh, quick things on how to find the mean score, and uh, we'll take it from there. Now, let's just say you have test scores that are 74, 86, 91, and 100. And let's just say you want to find the average. Well, finding the average is exactly like finding the mean because the mean is the average. So what you want to do is a very simple process. On any calculator, or you can do it by hand, certainly, you want to add all of these numbers together. And you have, in this case, the four numbers give you 351. Now, that means the first process of finding the mean is literally add them together. Now, to find the average, or the mean, is you want to divide. So the calculator will take 351 and divide by, now here's the important part, how many numbers do you see here? One, two, three, four. That's the number that you always want to divide by, how many numbers that you actually have. So you'll take 351 and you divide that by four. And in this case, it's 87.75. So that means the mean here is equal to 87.75. Now if you were to round to the nearest tenth, it'll be 87.8. Or if you want to round even further, it's about an 88 average. So that means the mean here out of these four numbers is an 88. Now if you want to do another one real quick, suppose you have numbers that are smaller, so you were doing quiz scores, 3, 6, 1, 0, and 5. Now what you want to do here is, again, add all the numbers together. You have 3 plus 6 plus 1 plus 0 plus 5 and add them all up. Now you get 15 here. Now, again, what you want to do is take that number after you add all of them up, 15, and then you want to divide by how many numbers and, or scores that you see. As you can tell, you have five numbers there. So you're going to take 15 and divide that by five, and you're going to get three. That three is going to be your average, but otherwise known as your mean. So these are just some examples. I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you determine the mean score.